Welcome back to Saverin on Sports on ESPN Pittsburgh, and it's my great pleasure to win. Welcome in a guy who certainly needs no introduction, so I'll dispense with the introductions. The one and only Franco Harris. Franco, so much. Thanks so much for being with us. How are you doing? Hello, Stan. Doing well. Doing well. Uh, uh, you know, you know, things are busy, but all good stuff. But, but I'm well. Good. Glad to hear that. Uh, the old band, the old gang. And is... and and, and uh, can I say? Happy birthday to you. You can, uh, and you yeah. may, and I appreciate it. And Thank happy you. birthday to you. <laughs> nice. I can still sing. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> and you got one coming up in about 10 days or so, so happy birthday yes, in advance I do. to you. Um, but you'll always. the good news Thanks. is, frankly, you'll always be younger than I am, so you can <laughs> and take that with you. Um, That's the good news, yep. We're in the Hall of Honor discussion, uh, the committee of which I'm thankfully a member will be meeting fairly soon, but the fans across the country, Steelers Nation Unite, get to nominate people. Um, and we're talking to some of the members of the Hall of Honor, as well as the Hall of Fame. When Art Rooney and really his father, Dan, they collaborated on this before Dan passed away, obviously. Um, what were your thoughts when they created the Hall of Honor to honor those guys who had not yet or may not get into Canton? Well, um, I guess I don't uh, uh, look at it as uh, uh, honoring guys who may not get into Canton. I uh, um, I feel that uh, every team should have their own Hall of Honor, also, um, and, uh, and 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 not based on the uh, uh, Canton, because as you know, we have some great teams and. Uh, and great players who have contributed so much, uh, uh, but uh, but to get into Pro Football Hall of Fame, uh, there's no way they're going to put our whole team in there. That's how I feel our whole team should be in there. Uh, but we know that's not going to happen. So uh, having the uh, uh, our own Hall of Honor to me is very special and. Uh, and 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 I tell you what, it feels very special to be a part of it. I wanted to ask you about that because um, there can be no higher honor than being enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, which of course you were and are. Um, but I'm wondering what that meant to you to go into the Steel- automatically be in the Steelers Hall of Honor with so many of your teammates and players that you have followed as you've continued to follow the Steelers. That's what makes it so special, you know. And 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 what makes it special is that for for our fans to connect more to the history of the of the Steelers, and and even though before the seventies that um, that they don't have a uh, winning tradition, they still had great. Players and great players who accomplish great things, and and like it's important. It's important for people to realize that in every era we had players and we had great players, and in some eras, hey, we win more than others. But all along the way, we had guys that were great players, and we need to. Recognize those players and honor those players, and and that's what this does. When you stop and think about <clears throat> all the great players that you played with, um, when you see uh, a guy like Donnie Shell, a guy like L.C. Greenwood, uh, Dick Hoke, of course, played and coached, uh, and then now in the uh, Hall of Honor uh, last year, we had uh, Art Rooney Jr., um, Bill Nunn, um, it feels like that just sort of Rocky. completes Rocky. Of course, went in last year, right? Um, it, it sort of completes the circle. Yes, it does, and uh, and and you know, it'll be hap- be happening continuously, and that's what makes it uh, so nice that that we do want to honor our own, and and there's so many players that have contributed to the tradition and the winning tradition. Of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and uh, and as I mentioned, even before the seventies, 
uh, there were great players who went out there and did some great things, even though uh, they didn't have what you would consider great teams at that time. Uh, but they still went out there and produced. You know, it always interests me, Franco, when there are reunions, get-togethers, um, not just with your teammates, but with anybody who ever wore that uniform, do you feel like there's sort of a special bond, even if it was a guy who played from the 90s, or like you say, uh, Buddy Dial went in and his son was there to accept? I mean, is there that common bond, even if he wasn't a specifically a teammate of yours? There is a connection of players through any generation. And it's hard to explain to people that, uh, uh, that how that connection happens and, uh, you know, what, what, what makes it happen. But it's just, it's just this connection and this bond that, uh, uh, and, and even players from other teams that, uh, uh, that you run into and, and you know, a number of them you build friendships with. But even if you, say, run into a group of players from another team, you feel there is this bond. And, uh, and, and, and like, with, with this bond, there is, there's that, that connection and, and it's hard to explain but it's but it's just there you know that that respect that you have for each other that admiration that you have for each other because you know what these guys have gone through and we've gone through the same thing uh, uh so uh, that's a like i want to say that that's a that's a special feeling, and uh, to have something like that that you can, and we can go anywhere in the country, run into a fellow player, and there's that bond. Does the bond get strengthened, Franco? Because like some of your teammates, you've made Pittsburgh your home, you've stayed here, you operate businesses out of here, you're very visible in the community, and in the Steelers community, um, does that strengthen the bond? Because, you know, a lot of the guys, I, last week we talked to Donnie Shell. Of course, he's down there in South Carolina. Um, but the fact that you're here and you're privy to pretty much whatever goes on involving the Steelers, good and bad, um, does that, that strengthen the connection for you? Yes, it does. And, um, and that was my choice to stay here in Pittsburgh, and so glad I did. Uh, uh, you know, this, this city has been great to me. People have been been great and 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 as you know we you know we had one of the best runs of all times and uh so so this is this is home and uh and you know and as you said even though people uh you know people go and move somewhere else they they still have that bond to Pittsburgh Last thing for you, Franco, I mentioned we talked to Donnie last week, and uh, I asked him at the end, and he didn't really have an answer, so I'll ask you the same question. Um, is there a member from your great teams that, and we're, compi- uh, uh, this is a preface, uh, we have a list of tons of names, and everyone on the list deserves to be in the Hall of Honor. It's just a matter of when um, they're, they're likely to get in. They're all certainly deserving but is there a former teammate of yours that you would like to see um, installed certainly sooner than later? Well, for me, it's my linemen. I mean, without them, none of this would happen. None of this for me, none of it with Brad, with Rocky, it would happen. It all starts, it all starts with them. Well, we got a lot to choose from. John Kolb, Sam Davis, uh, Gordon Gravel. Of course, Webby's already in there. Um, all right. Larry Brown. Uh, that'd be Larry a, Brown, Moon Mullins. Moon Mullins. Um, you know, Moon lives here. Larry lives here. 
Um, you know, you know, Wolf Lee's here. Yeah, you know, Wolf is here. You know. Yeah. You know, so you know, uh, you know that's that's where it starts, Dan. It does. Um, but most people will say the dynasty started the day they drafted you in 1972. So, um, Frank, I really appreciate the time. Um, uh, the committee's going to have a, another tough job, uh, but everybody who gets in will be certainly deserving. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. My pleasure, and I'm glad it's a tough job. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Believe me, we haven't got the committee hasn't gotten any fist fights yet. We're too old for that. Uh, <laughs> but there are some spirited debates. Let's uh, let's put it that way. Thanks Beautiful. a million, Franco. Okay, Stan. Always nice talking with you. Uh, my pleasure. Thank right. you. Happy birthday again. Uh, thank you so much. Right. Thanks, Franco. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye.